Hi everyone, I'm Danny Scher, I'm a physician assistant, and I am going to show you one of my favorite things to talk about, which is safe mapping. Safe mapping is your alternative to vascular mapping. Um, vascular mapping, I think, implies a much more onerous task to try to find every vessel, to trace its course. Um, I don't think you really need to do that to have ultrasound work for you in your aesthetic practice. So what I'm going to show you is how to use ultrasound to just check a spot. It starts with the question, can I put filler in this spot? Is this spot safe for me to inject a bolus of filler with a needle? Um, not every area I think is suitable for safe mapping. Some of your higher risk areas I think should be ultrasound guided where you can really watch what's happening. Um, but in the gonial angle, a lot of times there's not much in the way of vasculature, but sometimes there is. So this is just a way to do that extra safety check where you can just take a look under the skin and find out if the spot that you wanna put filler in is okay to inject. Um, especially when it comes to these non-dissolvable fillers that people put um, in the gonial angle, I think this is a great way to just check for safety. So in order to uh, safe map, again, we want to just start with the clinical question, is this spot right here? I use a surgical skin marker, and I can show you right here using these markers so you can visualize exactly where that gonial angle is. We sort of want to just bring a little bit more definition to this area. So that's where I put this little dot. The dot is very important because that's where you're going to line up your midline marker and put it exactly on that spot. And then you're gonna do four different checks um, on that spot to just make sure you've seen everything that you need to see. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to put down, uh, put on our power Doppler and the next thing we need to do is put down our middle marker. So our midline marker, you can see the dots down the screen. And the midline marker corresponds with the little hatch in the middle of the probe. So that little hatch, you're going to put right on that little spot. And we're going to make sure our color box is right where we want to be. And make sure that that's doing a query of that area. So once we are on that spot, I do this. I check my pressure. I release the pressure and make sure that I'm barely sitting on top of the skin. You don't want air in your probe, but you also uh, don't want to be smushing your view. This is a smushed view. That's a different view than this. You don't want to smush these tiny vessels with the weight of your probe. The next thing is alignment. Are you aligned directly over that spot that you're looking at? Remember, this is just like the thickness of a tongue depressor. This little hatch mark. So we really want to be very precise with where we're looking. And then our rotation. We are doing this to rotate to see how that looks. And then our tilt. We're going to take a tilt this way up and a tilt down. The tilt is important because remember your incinating angle, your angle of incidence, it's really a 90 degree check. So 90 degrees in the direction from the probe this way is different than 90 degrees this way. So you want to make sure that you're going at the same exact angle that you anticipate injecting. So picture your syringe along this same plane of injection. That's really important for your tilt. So now we've checked all of our pressure alignment rotation tilt. Our midline marker is right on top of our surgical skin pen site that we have denoted. And now that is a successful safe map. So I'd feel comfortable about putting a needle bolus of, of any non-dissolvable filler here, of any HA filler, um, because I've taken a look. Um, so what I like to do is just give one more alcohol wipe to the skin right on top of that dot, just to be sure. And then I just kind of hold my chin and I remember exactly where I went with my probe. It's right there. So I'm just going right down to bone. And you can aspirate if you want here, but it's not necessary because ultrasound is sort of you're able to kind of see aspiration is fine it does precede ultrasound and now that we have ultrasound we can always just take a look and see what's under there so now i've put my 0.2 bolus back there down to bone so that is a successful bolus and a happy patient with a little bolus to the gonial angle that we have checked for safety. So that is safe mapping. Hope you enjoyed.